Greg, we were just talking about how there was an article written or somebody commented on how three of these top, these four quarterbacks who remain are on their rookie deals. The one who isn't is Patrick Mahomes. And when he won his Super Bowl, he was on a rookie deal. And I was saying how I do think the gap between the quarterbacks, if it's a Mahomes or somebody like that, that's one thing. But the gap generally between a quarterback and what everybody else makes, I think it's too big, especially when it's these mediocre or just good quarterbacks. What's your thought on that? I, like, I think the the receivers, the the linemen, whoever, and I, and I think position, the quarterback should get paid. It should as be long closer as, to what the as long as you're being is. selective and not just giving anybody who's a quarter. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a good quarterback and your franchise guy, you got to take care of him. Yes, Chris, I'm with you. I'm with you for a couple reasons. Like, so first and foremost, the quarterback, we all understand that you got to have a good quarterback to even pretty much have a chance. But what allows a quarterback to thrive is what you put around that quarterback. So you have to value what you put around the quarterback just as you value the quarterback. Because you, if you had all the pieces and no quarterback, then it's like, okay, yeah, let's find a guy, let's pay him, whatever. But if you have all the pieces and you're missing a, a left tackle or you you don't have that number one receiver, it, you're going to want to try to find that piece. Pay that person. Like the, the job that Tyreek Hill has done this year, what he did for Tua, what A.J. Brown did for uh, – for Jalen Hurts and he's doing what Christian McCaffrey has done for the San Francisco 49ers. Like, like it, it matters. Like you can't, you can't sit here and say, Oh, they are, they're less value than the quarterback because they are running backs or they're expendable. We can find a guy like that. I think that's kind of a, a false narrative that, Oh, running backs are a dime a dozen, or you can find a receiver anywhere. No, you cannot. Not not that fits what you're trying to do. If that were the case, then you would have one every single year. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's depending on who the quarterback is, and I think you, what you said first was right. Without a quarterback, you almost have no shot. I don't care how good your offensive line is. I don't care how good your defense is. And you know you're in Minnesota. The Vikings thought they had a defense. And they went mm-hmm. out and got Kirk Cousins, right, and gave him a three-year, $75 million guaranteed contract because they thought he was going to be the missing piece, right? Yep. And it, but and it Brock didn't... Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, could win a Super Bowl. Mike, we'll see. Well, it's, it's, it's different with, with when you talk about San Francisco because – when I, I I calling games, you have to, I have this opportunity to sit down with them and talk to not only John, not only the co- head coach, but even John Lynch. And just their philosophy of how you build a team. It was they had a strategy, like they wanted to build it inside out, and then understand that they they the quarterback is something that you you want right away. But if you have that piece before everything else that expiration date for the quarterback comes up and then you have to lose everything else. So they were of the mindset that, okay, let's make sure we get everything else and get depth and then make sure we find our quarterback along the way. And it's worked out tremendously. You see them with extreme depth uh, interior out. like, And it's worked for them. It's why they're able to put a quarterback that we feel like any quarterback can plug and play. And that it sounds crazy, but that's the system that they've created. Have you asked, did you ask Shanahan? Uh, uh, wh- Here why? comes. Yeah. You already know why he's uh, in, in, in the last three playoff losses. He's been outscored 46 to nothing. And, uh, <laughs> and he can't win any big games. So how about that? But anyway, Greg, let's go here. I want to take you to task. Over your Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones. I want oh, you he, to just. You, oh, you did. You did some research. You I want. Some research no, no, I want you to step down. <laughs> just step down and admit that you were wrong. And you know what? You wanted to give the guy credit, which is fine, and said he was a better player and he improved a ton. But you misspoke when you said he was a top ten quarterback. And just admit it. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, Greg, or you're not a great NFL analyst, or or there's something wrong because you got you you got it. Chris is wrong almost every other day. We love him on the show. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I'll give you that, Rob. I'll give you that. I'll step back a little bit and I'll reflect a little bit and then I'll I, I I'm reminding myself of what I said and I will double down what? on wow. the fact that Danny Dimes is a top ten quarterback moving forward. If in matter of fact, I will pose it to you like this, like I posed to Chris and everyone on the FTF table. If you had to start a franchise, can you start? Would you start right well, now a franchise with ten other quarterbacks before Danny Dimes? See, now no, you're you're changing it a little bit. No, I'm not changing it. That's because before it was guy. he's a top ten quarterback. Top, it wasn't. You just that said that start about a starting with, a team, Greg. That we can was, play the tape. He's a top. You said 10 he's a top ten quarterback now. That has nothing because you know what? You were eliminating people who had great years the year before. You said it. We're talking about the present day, not about last year, not about somebody's resume. So now you're throwing him into the future. So we're not talking Greg, about I'm that. I'm going to give you right 15 Right here and right guys. now. Chris will list 15 guys who are better than no, Daniel I'm not, Nichols. I'm, I'm not finna, I'm, look, I'm not going to sit here and take this abuse. <laughs> yes, you are. Phone, like, You're a neon if, couple. You will be 3,000 like miles as away guys, from Rob. He can talk his trash. what you guys are saying is biblical. Like, that's not going to happen. You're not gonna <laughs> Chris has a Bible in his back pocket. <laughs> he, it is biblical. <laughs> <laughs> But really, Greg, obviously Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, Hurts, Lamar, Trevor Lawrence, uh, Justin Herbert. But, but here's Jerry Goff, Derek Carr. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Matt Let's Stafford. Stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Which Let's one stop. of them is he better than? Come on now. Like, here we here we go. So you're this is this is with quarterbacks that are playing. You can't list. I'm not saying Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford didn't even play. Why are we? Why are we? I'm not going. He's going. He's not going to play next year. I, we don't know. Is he? Is he going to be healthy? Yes. Greg, just take the L. Just take I'm the L. Taking, I'm okay. not taking the L. I know take the hell, L, man. What? Okay. What I want you guys to do is document this, and you you've oh, not heard will. you've not you've not heard this from anyone. And so moving forward, when you see Danny Dimes. Be what I've said he is. I don't want to hear nothing but, Greg, you were right. Greg, it's funny because the last time you said that, you told us not to get on the bandwagon once uh, Danny Dimes beats the Eagles. Don't don't be looking to get on the bandwagon. And we saw that debacle, all right? So we remember the last time we were (laughs) supposed to not. So save your little threats. We're not shaking. I said they had a chance. I'm giving them a chance. None of us saw them just. We have to get back to like the that. tape because I don't know. He, we you know how you just say that. You were like, uh, don't. I said he was a top ten quarterback going forward, right? Uh, to start a team with now, I said they had a check. I don't know. We got to check. Come the on, tape, Greg. Greg you're I, all over. I think you're playing fast and loose with the with the facts. We'll get the tape for your next appearance and we'll play it so that you can hear your own I'm words. I'm not coming on anymore. Okay, what? <laughs> What I'm are you not saying? <laughs> I'm not going to be disrespected like this. this wow. is, I'm not going to tolerate this. <laughs> hey, hey, that is our this, man, Mr. Right. Universe. You see why we love him. Great stuff, man. I'll see you tomorrow.